so I did a video here a while back on uh, transitioning carpet to vinyl and um, that was actually just tying that off first and stretching away from it in this instance we have a closet doorway over here so we're actually going to have to stretch to this so I just wanted to show how to stretch to the z-bar <coughs> and work it to the vinyl as I'm stretching to it so uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to check it out you can see as it's moving a little bit here it's going to be pretty weak it's not going to hold my stretch good so I'm just going to put a few extra nails just to give it a little extra support there Dirty it up real good. Sorry for the noise if it's loud. Okay. So now that I got it all nice and solid, it's not moving nowhere. I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to work this metal up so I can get my carpet underneath of it. We'll come down here a little closer and look here. So what I did, I actually bent that up. I actually got it angled up just a little bit more here, more than flat like it comes. I actually got it a little bit of an angle up. That's going to make it easier to work with and easier to get it under there real good. I did notice that this still is a little loose right here. So now we're going to slide our stretchers over here and stretch up to it. You know, on the first stretch, I always want to get an angle toward the corner. Okay. Now, I only want to do about the width of the stretcher head. I don't want to come over here because then when I stretch here, it's going to push a wrinkle up here. So, I only want to work the width of the stretcher head. So, I'll go ahead and get my slice right here. You don't want to go all the way down to the z-bar either you want to stay about a half inch from it because that's what's going to be tucked so i'll get my release cut here fold it back and like in the first video i'm going to allow myself about a half inch from the metal up about a half inch and that's what i want to cut so i can tuck it under there real nice fingers and just tuck it underneath there. Take my hammer as I'm holding it. Tap it down there. I don't want to I don't want to just stick it on the strip and then release the stretcher because there's a good chance whenever I'm rolling it under there like that it's going to knock it loose off the strip or I want to yank it up or something so it's better just to go ahead and do that and then light off the stretcher and then it's going to pull real nice and tight there. <clears throat> so again now that I got my stretcher here I can finish this all up because my stretcher head is actually past the door down here so that's going to be this one. Just rolling it under, holding it as I tap it down. And I'm actually tapping the metal. I'm not tapping, I'm not tapping the tack strip back here. I want to leave them nails sticking up. I'm just tapping the edge of the metal down is what I'm doing. And it pinches it in between the vinyl and the carpet. across it like that you can feel if there's any humps in the in the z bar where you'll feel it there was one and right there's one you want to go back and make sure it's all good and there you go that's how you're going to work z bar to uh 
stretching up to the Z-bar if you have to stretch up to it. So maybe that'll help someone as finishing off their doorways and their home projects.